رمضان 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 كريم رمضان all praise to Allah the Almighty and peace and blessings be upon his messenger Prophet Muhammad and all the prophets and messengers of Allah. We as a human being, we are not free from mistakes and committing sins. And this is the nature of human being. Allah created us in this way. And so each and every one of us definitely will have this. And he likes to be excused and not to be blamed or attacked for that thing. And this thing actually Allah loves to give excuse for people and for this reason he sent the messengers so that everyone will know what he's supposed to do and what he's supposed not to do. And all of us like to be treated nicely. So put yourself in place of the one who committed this mistake or the sin and see what would you like to be treated? How, how do you like to be treated? And then treat them like this. Maybe now you are in a strong position and good position and uh, you are not falling in these mistakes, but you don't know. One day you might fall in the same mistakes you are condemning the others for being that, committing this. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, he is encouraging to forgive people and to give them excuses. And giving them excuses doesn't mean that we are trying to justify uh, these mistakes or these sins. But it means that we uh, appreciate and try to become merciful and sympathize with those people. And at the same time, we are trying to help them with the advice and consulting, consultation, so that they will come out of that problem. Uh, very interesting example of that. When the Prophet, peace be upon him, migrated to the Medina, and Medina Munawara, uh, at that time, there was a man called Abdullah ibn Ubay ibn Salul. He was about to be uh, appointed as the king of the Medina. And when the Prophet, peace be upon him, came, of course, he became the head of the state of Medina. So he became uh, hating the Prophet Sallallahu And uh, he is actually the head of the hypocrites. And in spite of that, one of the Sahaba, he told the Prophet Sallallahu he, this man, he was about to be appointed as a king over us. And when he you came, he felt that he lost that because of you. So as if he is giving him a, an excuse, but to understand his, why he is doing this. But of course, this is not justification for being a hypocrite and uh, being an enemy to Islam. No, this is not a justification. So I always, when I see and uh, ponder about this example, which was mentioned, that how the Sahaba was uh, very merciful, while now people who are not merciful to their brothers and even good people, when they fall in some mistakes and do something bad out of their weak uh, as a human, this weakness of being a human being, you can have these things. So this is one thing. Another thing which uh, makes us excuse the others is that sometimes those who are committing these things, it happens out of their ignorance. The Prophet, 
peace be upon him, was in the mosque. And one of the Bedouin came inside the mosque and took one side and he started urinating. The companions, they rushed towards him and told him, stop, stop. But the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, he said, don't say that, leave him alone, leave him alone. After he finished, he said to him, this is a mosque here just for prayer, reciting Quran, for remembrance of Allah. This is not the place to urinate here. And then he asked one of the companions to bring uh, water and to uh, flush that water over that urine. And he said, you, uh, you must become an easy coming. The Prophet ﷺ, he said, uh, why you make things difficult? Make it easy. That man became very happy with the Prophet ﷺ because he didn't uh, shout, shout at him. Uh, he didn't blame him, but he taught him in a gentle way. Another thing, uh, an, another example about uh, being excused for being ignorant about something and you do something according to this ignorance. The Prophet, peace be upon him, mentioned a story of someone in the old ages before he was committing a lot of sins. So when he felt that now he's going to die, he told his son that if I die, then burn me and then grind me and uh, take my ashes and uh, throw it in the wind. Because I swear by Allah, that if Allah is going to uh, be able to catch me, then he will punish me a punishment that never, nobody had this punishment before. So when he died, they did exactly what he, he asked them to do. Then Allah, then Allah asked, commanded the earth to bring all the uh, ashes and he was resurrected and he came as he was. So Allah asked him, why you did so? He said, oh my Lord, because of my fear from you. So Allah forgave him because of his fear from Allah. In spite that the scholar, they said that he thought, and this is actually a grave, uh, a great mistake in his belief in Allah, that he thinks that if he does this way, that he will run away from Allah. This is out of his ignorance. But Allah, because of his fear from Allah, Allah forgave him. So this is another example. So, uh, giving excuse, I mean, excusing people, this is something good. And uh, the more you become knowledgeable, the, the more you become aware of that. Uh, Anas ibn Malik, one of the companions, uh, also mentioned that now if some one of us pray, you will think that he is praying something in, in, in a way which is odd. While we were praying like this at the time of the Prophet, what does he mean by that? That some people, they are, if they are not familiar with something, they will consider it as something wrong. So sometimes you might think that someone is doing something wrong, but while he is doing something right, and you are wrong. So this is another thing to be kept in mind. Uh, there are a lot of, for example, different opinions. You can't just insist on one opinion and think that this is only the truth. Uh, people also 
take, uh, uh, do things in a different way. Uh, an example here, uh, Anas ibn Malik also, he said, we're traveling with the Prophet Sallallahu peace be upon him. Some of us, this is during uh, uh, travel, some of us were fasting, some of, of us are not fasting. Nobody is blaming the others, why, saying why you are not fasting or why you are fasting. Because this is acceptable and this is acceptable. So also to have a good will towards others will help you to have excuse for others. It is not just like some people, they try to pick the mistakes and uh, magnify it and uh, become like uh, a judge for the people. No, you need to become merciful and sympathi sympathize with, with these people and consider them like somebody who is sick. Nobody likes sickness, but you should sympathize with them. Try to understand why they are doing this thing. Try to become close to them. Let them feel that you are loving them and that you are trying to let them reach their best. And not just trying to show them that they are wrong. With this intention, with this approach, people will accept, will accept you will accept your comments, you will keep your relations with the others and they will excuse you whenever you will need to be excused because this is something which we all can go through. I'd like to stop here and I ask Allah to accept our deeds and I Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.